Hey guys! Today we have something special planned. We're gonna have a sort of sister collab, not sister as in James Charles, so sorry, we're not him. Never gonna be him. But today we have Angelina and Sophia. Today's video, we are going to be doing a makeup tutorial and we're gonna be doing two looks today. And Angelina will be covering the natural era. And she will be covering the glam side. So like your prom, your date night, and anything else. Not only are we doing a makeup tutorial, but we're going to be doing a kind of get to know each other as um, sisters and see what life in the... <laughs> <laughs> we're so excited to show y'all, so without further ado, let's get into it. I will be going first and she's just going to ask me questions or some random stuff. Yeah, we could get personal. matter when ask questions anyway okay well I'm gonna start with applying cream because I have already washed my face it just helps not to get pimples okay so Angelina you are the youngest of the family how how is it being the youngest I'd say sometimes lonely care to elaborate on that <laughs> Well, because it's like, I'm the youngest, so then like, there's usually, like, at my age, when I was like, what, five or something, there's there's usually no one to play with, because y'all are like, already teenagers or something, so it was kind of just me there. Um, I, I mean, it's true, we're each about like, what, four years apart, and she's like, what, 12 years apart from our brother, and I'm like, eight years apart. So, I guess it could feel a bit lonely, but then at the same time, there's that stereotype that the youngest tends to be, like, more favorable with the parents, more spoiled. But honestly, I don't feel that way. <laughs> Mixed opinions. Anyway, okay, I guess. It, it can be a little lonely. I'm sure it applies to any other family member. So, okay, next question, I guess. So you said you washed your face before this, and I know you have like a full-on skincare routine. Um, how long does that usually take you? I'd say about like 15 minutes. Wow. And do you do that every day or is it like a weekly? I mostly do it every day. Although sometimes I just don't do it because my face already feels clean, so I don't do it. Okay, so I guess what kind of recommendations would you give to people out there who tend to have a little bit more acne or just more blemishes on their skin? Like, should they do it every day or should they, like, wait? Well, that depends on how much they have. Like, if your face is filled with acne, then... You heard it here. She called you a poor. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> you can get, like, a good face scrub at Five and Below for probably, like, $4 or 5 or even less, so. That's true. Don't go spending your money on like a $20 cream. That's only gonna last you like a week. You're like, I know this you can find the dollar store and I've had it for like longer than a month and it's still not even like half empty. It's like, it's still Ooh. up. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be doing my eyebrows and I like to use powders because it's more controllable than like cream. At least in my opinion it is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I am one of your older sisters and between me and Alexia, who would you say is the better sister? Like granted I know there's the whole families don't have favorites, but you have to kind of like, who do you feel more closely related to? Well you because it's pretty obvious Alexia doesn't like me, so. But I'm going to live with it. There's only those some moments where I feel like she actually does, so. <laughs> Don't we all? Yeah. So, Angelina, how old are you? Did you call me 12 in the beginning? Because I'm 13. Okay, I didn't say 12. You're, okay, you're 13. Now, how did you start getting into makeup? Well, one, I watched you, and two, because of dance. Oh, dance. Oh, that's right. You like to dance a lot. So, um, I guess that leads me to another question. Okay, so I know you're a pretty good dancer. 
why do you love dancing? Well, to me, dancing is a sport because it is. And it's just one of the funnest sports because it's like, everyone dances in their room to the music, but like, it's more funner when you know how to like turn, do like tumbling skills or, you know, like in the dancing industry, you're basically acting while you're dancing because you can't talk. So you have to use your facial expressions. So it kind of just expresses you yourself. Yeah, it's another way to express yourself. And honestly, dancing is also a great stress reliever. I mean, I'm not the best dancer and Elena can testify to that. But regardless, I still like to dance around the house to relieve some of that stress, especially during this time of quarantine. Which brings up another good question. Angelina, we are currently in 2020, coronavirus is going around, and we've been stuck for quite some time. And it feels like torture, but what have you been doing during this time to better yourself or to just pass the time? I have actually been stretching to get more flexible and to get more muscle. Okay, well, I'm going to use a cream base for my concealer, and for natural, I don't go, like, white, like what Sofia does. I don't. So, I usually go one that matches my skin tone, because then it doesn't make you look like one of those fake girls or something. Ahaha, ah, funny. <laughs> okay, um. Or oh, using that to cut your eyes. Um, the next question I have is... There's a lot of people out there that love to do makeup and there's a lot of girls where you can tell there's a difference between more natural and like full on changing your whole face with makeup. So what do you think is more appropriate for people your age or should that really matter? I don't really think it does matter because some girls don't do it because they feel like they think they're ugly. Some girls just do it because they want it for fun and like... I mean, kids our age, they make fun of other girls for wearing a whole bunch of makeup, but, like, it's just them. It's who they are. Like, they can do what they want. No one else can tell them what to do. I mean, I guess I could say that I agree partially to that just because, like, yes, I do believe, you know, makeup is probably another way to express yourself, should you say, and makeup should never make you feel like you need to cover up your ugly because no one is truly ugly. No one knows the true definition of ugly, in my opinion. And it's also like, like you said, they're not doing it because they feel like they need to put on a mask. But also like, I feel children of a younger age, like let's say maybe five, there's no need for them. <laughs> <laughs> so like, you are not, <laughs> I'm just saying like five year olds, like there's probably no need for them to go out in public, you know, with a full face of makeup. There's no reason and like. Okay, but there's a difference between cakey makeup and natural makeup. It's true. But yeah, I feel like there should be at least like, you know, a certain age where you're allowed to go like out in the, yeah, like full face, like out in public, just because like around your house, hey, go ahead, go right ahead. But like sometimes maybe your parents might say something, but other than that, just go ahead, pull up a palette. Yeah, like honestly, art I, I would go to school with makeup. I'd probably just do eyeshadow and lipstick and that's, the basic you're gonna get. We're not here to look like more of a clown than what we are. <laughs> well, now we're just gonna go on to foundation. Okay, let me see. Okay, this is kind of a random question, but like, I mean. <laughs> okay, so you know we have a bunch of cats, right? <clears throat> And we have like one indoor cat, his name's Indiana Jones, the cutest little baby out there. So us having an indoor cat, how has that, you know, been different? Because we, we hadn't always had an indoor cat, like we've never had an indoor cat. And then all of a sudden now we do, and it's been about like, what, five, three years since we've had him in here? I can't really remember, but I'm pretty sure it was five. I guess, how has that impacted your house life? Well, for one, it makes it feel like there's a whole new person in there because, like, we treat Indy as a person, you know, he's a baby of the house or the fat boy. 
That's what I call him. Yeah, we spoil him. We spoil him a little too much. But hey, what are they for, right? Then I also find him as like a close friend where you can tell anything to them because obviously they're not gonna spoil your secrets. <laughs> <clears throat> That's true. And they're a nice little comfort pet to have. I know sometimes when some of us are feeling down or like we cry in our room or something, usually Andy comes and he's like, <laughs> he just like jumps on the bed and she just like sleeps right next to you. And honestly, I know some people say that cats aren't as affectionate as dogs, but I feel it's more of a connection when they do show that little bit of affection and you just treasure it like for the rest of your life. But honestly, cats know when you're like sad like they just know. They do know. Like Bless if you if you voice. pretend to be sad, they're not gonna go to you. But if you actually are sad, then you are. Yeah. Oh, I'm done with my foundation. <laughs> now I to be pretty. Now I'll move on to eyeshadow. But I use my James Charles palette. She also has one, so we don't have to share. You'll be seeing that later. Well, I'm gonna go in with a light shade. It's that <laughs> pinkity drinkity shade on here. Yeah, yeah, I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I know this is kind of far fetched, and you still have like a good five, six years to go. But um, <clears throat> sooner or later, you're gonna graduate, and you're gonna be in high, or you're gonna go to high school, and then you're gonna graduate. What do you think will be the thing you'll miss most? about school my friends good answer good answer <laughs> i think it's the obvious answer anybody would say so i kind of already reached graduation but yeah you're not too far from high school now and you still have another year so what do you think high school is gonna be like being a freshman first entering i think it's gonna be whack honestly i don't even want to go to high school why well i mean after seeing you I wouldn't want to go to high school. Well, that's just me. You know how dramatic I am. Um. <laughs> um. I actually forgot what this color was called. Hold on. Okay, it's love that. <laughs> this is the shade love that. This is actually one of my favorite shades in this palette because it's pretty pink. But anyway, I'm gonna do that it's just like half of my crease, like, and half of my eyelid. I'm not explain that, but yeah. <laughs> just see. Okay, so um, what kind of clubs do you want to join in high school? I mean, you don't have to join a club. I mean, maybe you choose not to join any clubs, but like, what are you interested in? I probably wouldn't even join any clubs. Okay. Okay, well I did my eyelids. It's just like half. And then since this is natural, that's the only dark eyeshadow we're gonna use. And then I'm gonna go in with the shimmer shade. Called Sister Mom. <laughs> Sister <Sisters>. Okay. <laughs> well the shade right here is like a light shimmery pink. It's like a shimmery ballet pink. I don't know what it looks like. Cute. I'm gonna put that. Okay, let's ask, I guess, funner questions than school. <laughs> okay, so, um, what would you say is your favorite Disney movie? My favorite Disney movie would have to be Teen Beach. <laughs> like, honestly, I could never fall asleep trying to watch Teen Beach, like, it's so interesting and the choreography so good. The acting though. <laughs> um, anyway, what do you say is your favorite TV show? Dance Moms, obviously, come on. The drama is real, it's better than your RuPaul whatever. The drag racing, that's interesting to watch, but. Yeah, yeah but wait until you watch Dance Moms, like. What app have you been obsessed with, like, right now? Google. Google? Yeah, like, that's where I watch my dance moms. That's the one app I'm obsessed with. 
I haven't right. really been on TikTok that much. Like, I have a whole bunch of messages on there that I hardly even look at. So I look at them like five days later. <sighs> okay, well, I added my shimmer. I don't know if y'all can see that. But honestly, from here, it looks pretty pretty. But sometimes I'm a little extra, so... I like to add glitter to it. Y'all don't have to do that if y'all want to stay natural, but I like to add it. What would you say is your like favorite family memory? Oh, okay, no, I'll just say Disney World. <laughs> well, so she went with Disney World after all. Um, okay, what would you say is your biggest bro moment in life right now? Well, earlier today I went to the school to pick up stuff from my locker and I was I for sure thought my locker number was 72 and I told them that and it wasn't there and then it wasn't until later when we were already driving out of the school and we weren't going to turn back because we had already gone back like twice already that I looked at my old pictures because I was like I'm pretty sure it was 72 but it was actually 77. I was way off. <laughs> so I didn't get my stuff back. So all that stuff is just there. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a bro moment. I don't do mascara because I only sometimes do it, but I rarely I rarely do it. But I mostly do it to like my bottom lashes. But when I just want to go for natural, because usually what I always do, I just add water to my eyelashes, and it kind of just makes them look more like Fuller. black. Oh, black. oh no! Yeah, like you haven't tried that yet. No, I literally have no eyelashes. Like, granted, they're kind of long, but they're just straight. So, like, you can't even see them in the camera right now. Her eyelashes, on the other okay. hand, are literally long and they're naturally curled, yeah. so she literally doesn't have to do anything. So, like. Honestly, I wouldn't curl your lashes, even if you don't have straight ones, because, like, if you do, do them, like, once or twice a month or something, because they, for real, damage your lashes. Like, they break them, and your already short lashes will become even shorter. And I, okay, um, so I'm gonna go add water to this. Just put water on the comb, and then just comb out my lashes. What is your favorite memory of daddy? It was when I woke up one morning and he was already awake and he decided to hug me because he had a dream that I ran away. <laughs> and, <laughs> it just, it felt like a hug of true love. It, it was only like a five second hug, but it was still a hug. Five second? Was I asleep during this or what? It probably were, more than likely. Maybe I was gone, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, I'm gonna add blush, and usually I mix this 10% off, this one, with that Love That, and to me, it creates a natural kind of glow. And we were recently sunburned, so that gives us a hint of where to add it. Well, I'm gonna go in with a light coat of highlighter, just a little... Swipe, and that's it. I'm gonna go in with a glittery lip gloss. I was gonna smell the lipstick. <laughs> and then she's like, on ah, my face. <clears throat> okay, but then I also add a little pink to my lips because honestly, I don't like pale lips. I like more pinkish style lips. So then, lip lipstick right here kind of like matches my natural skin tone. I mean, my natural lip tone, like when it's actually moisturized. And then that's just my natural look. 
well, a little extra look, but it's pretty natural for, you know, people like our age, I guess. And would you wear that to school? <laughs> not, honestly, not, not to middle school, but more to high school. <laughs> oh, okay. But it is kind of like an everyday look you can wear. Yeah, and then with like pink, you can basically wear any, well, any like... Neutral pink, color. yeah, just like honestly, I don't really find brown that natural color because unless you're like dark, then you're brown. But our face is mostly made of like pink and red, so that's <clears throat> what I find natural. And then I just do my hair, whatever style, and Alright, it's my turn now. So first things first, I have some pretty long hair, so I'm going to Cut your clip it back. So I'm going to go into that moisturizer I'm just going to use in the beginning. So this is just to make my skin a little bit smoother and not look like a crocodile. So the first thing I like to start with is my eyebrows. I like to take a little brush like this, a little comb, right? And I like to comb my eyebrows out. Alright, so for today's video, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, pomade in the shade Chocolate. And I will be using a little angled brush to really get in my eyebrows. Do you like to use cream eyebrow gel? Well, for me, I feel like it defines my eyebrows a little bit more. And I <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what I'm doing with my eyebrows, as I get towards the inner part, I'm not putting too much pressure. I'm kind of leaving it light to give it a sort of ombre effect. And I can kind of see the difference. This one's a little bit thicker. We're looking bullies, not boys. Okay, so the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to clean out my brows to make them look even more defined and even... Wow, eyebrows. So I'm just going to take a little bit of my foundation. I use the Maybelline Fit Me in the shade Soft Honey. So I'm just going to line it. Once I get to the tail of the eyebrow, I make sure it's like pointed and I drag it. I drag it down, connecting it to the point. I go back in with my blender to just push it down onto my eyelid and on the top, kind of just blend it out onto my skin. And now they're just my, like, are give me attention. <laughs> Next thing I like to do is my eyeshadow. I'm gonna be using the same palette Angelina was using, my Morphe X James Charles. Today's glam look is going to be more of the brown tones, kind of a smoky eye moment. <gasps> Indie, baby! Coming into my palette, I'm going to grab a little bit of this white shade, Flashback, Flashback on a small blending brush. This one actually came in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette to kind of set my eye in place. So, All right, so after I set my eye in place, I am going to go in with this shade right here. It's a really tan, nice shade. It's called Punch Me. And that's going to be my sort of transition shade. One thing to know is, especially with hooded eyes, and I have some pretty hooded eyes, I'm going to look straight into my mirror, and I'm going to apply just above, like, you see the natural crease is right there, but you want to kind of go on your brow bone. You want to go above the crease. That way, when you look at someone, they can actually see your makeup look, and it's not hidden behind your... Your crease and blend it out on there blending and layering is gonna be your BFF so the next shade I'm going to dip into is going to be I'm gonna try this shade right here this little orange shade it's called code James James grab a little bit on the same blending brush here I'm gonna tap off the excess so it won't be as pigmented apply that where that brow bone was where the last shade was and you're just gonna kind of apply it on there. I'm going to bring out the shade more outwards here because it makes it look a little bit bigger and more snatched and then at the end I will kind of cut it to make it look smooth and sleek. Okay, what would be your favorite named brand makeup? Um, <clears throat> I do like the Anastasia Beverly Hills products because I do have the brow and I do have another palette. The Norvina palette and the colors are really pigmented and they're beautiful. So I feel like it's a pretty good name brand. It's just pretty expensive. So the next shade I'm going to go into to deepen the eye look is this dark brown shade. 
right here in this corner called tea. Spill the tea. I'm gonna take a little bit, again, I'm using that same brush. Tap off the excess. <laughs> Oops. And then again, I'm gonna apply it kind of underneath that Code James shade that we just put on our eye. If you had to pick a movie that you had to play in, which movie would you pick? Oh, buddy. You know which movie I would be really interested to play in would be a Star Wars movie. Just imagine me being a legit Jedi with a lightsaber. <laughs> okay, the next shade I'm going to dip into is I'm going to dip into this even darker brown shade. It looks almost black. The shade name is Benny. And I'm going to focus that more in my outer corner of the eye. So this area right here and i'm going to be using the same brush right in the outer corner and then blend that little sucker out whoa i'm gonna dip back into the light brown shade that we used in the beginning punch me and i'm gonna kind of blend everything out and just kind of blending it All right, I'm gonna go in with the black shade. Ooh. It's the shade Spooky, and actually, guess what? We're gonna use a different brush. I'm going in with a smaller and more pointed blending brush. This little guy right here. <laughs> yeah! You wanna lightly dip into your black shade. I'm gonna focus it only on the inner corners to give it an even deeper, more intense, more glam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, <did it be? laughs> what I'm doing is I'm going back into my eyeshadow and just, now I don't have anything on the brush and I'm just going back to like blend everything out. I'm gonna take a flat brush, go back into my shade, flashback. And I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna focus it on the inner corner of my eye to give the shimmers a bit of like a base so they can like pop even more. So I'm going to pack that on. Crease. Again, since my eyes are hooded, I'm going to look straight at my mirror and I'm going to pretty much apply it above my standard crease so that way when you look at people, they can actually see your good work. And just don't put your hand on my shoulder. Okay. Moments like that that makes you proud to be a cat. I'm gonna go for a more golden moment on the inner corner. I'm going to go into this shimmer shade. It is this beautiful, has like golden flecks in it. Beautiful pigmented, and it is called Wig. So we're gonna go into wig, and now what I like to do with shimmer shades, I like to just take my finger be and then pat it onto my eyelid because I feel like that just gives you even more shimmers and more glitter and it's actually staying there. So I'm going to apply this into the middle of my eye. You are not gonna put it at the end of the corner like where the black is, because you want you want to actually see the black, so. Look at that shot. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna go into a even, a lighter shade of gold, and I love this shimmer shade. It's this one right here, it's called, you're so good. And of course, I'm gonna use my finger again. Now you can use a different finger than the one that you used to apply, so I'd probably use like maybe this finger. But, yeah. Dip into it, and then and now I'm gonna focus it on the inner corner of my eye. What would be your favorite makeup look of all time? One of the looks that I was actually really proud of was a reindeer. I was so proud of how the makeup came out. It looks so cute. If you want to go back with a flat brush and grab more of the shimmer shade on your brush, you can do that and you can put more. I'm going to go into the next shimmer shade right next to So Good. It's called Ring Light. This really pearly shade. It's actually a shimmer. I know you can't really see it in the camera, 
with that shade right there and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye to really brighten it. I'm gonna grab a tiny little brush, like this one, like this one, kind of tiny, and I'm just gonna boop, 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 pack it onto my inner corner. Princess and the Popper Barbie. Okay, so I have a lot of fallout from those shades. So what you can do is you can just take a makeup wipe. Wait, I'm just gonna. Can you use that? Do I have a lipstick? Wipe. Now that I put the shimmer shades on, I'm gonna go back into the dark brown shade Benny. I'm gonna put it and kind of blend the corner more. Kind of blend it into that shimmer shade. You go in with some eyeliner to really put everything together. Now this can be kind of tricky. The eyeliner I'm using today is the Sephora Colorful Eyeliner. It's waterproof and it is the black one. Boop. And as you can see, it's like has this little tiny applicator sharp for pretty good precision. So what I'm gonna do is, especially like, it all depends on your eye shape and my eyes are <laughs> so hooded. I'm just gonna start from the corner of my eye and bring it up and then connect it down into the start of my eye. Mm. When I do my eyeliner, I like to drag it all the way to the inner corner, but I like to make it thinner as it goes in. Okay, so um, I'm gonna, I guess I'll use a makeup wipe. And I like to just clean up or cut the edge to make it look sharp and snatched. Right now, so I'm just gonna take like the tip of this makeup remover and I'm gonna really carefully and just kind of wipe. And this will also make your eyeliner look even sharper. So I'm just kind of drag it up. Now I'm gonna finally start my foundation. I'm gonna get my beauty blender and what I like to do is I like to dampen it with water. And I'm gonna go back into my foundation and now me, I do not like to just foundation all over my face. I only focus it right here because I really just need to cover my dark circles. So that's where I focus my foundation. And I just kind of, you know, dab it onto the skin, pushing it really against where my dark circles are. Kind of be careful when you're putting it to where you already cut your eyeshadow. Okay, I'm gonna go in with the concealer. This is the e.l.f. 16 hour camel concealer in the shade medium sand. And it's pretty light for my skin tone. That's why I'm only gonna use like a like dot of this underneath my eye. And this is optional. I like to put some eyeshadow on the under eye to really give it a more dramatic look. So I'm gonna grab a tiny brush. I'm gonna dip into one of the dark brown shades. I'm probably gonna dip into T and Benny and I'm gonna put that on the bottom. So really get it close. That's kind of gross. But my All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to contour my face. And so look, I'm going to grab a contour brush and I'm going to use one of these contour dual palettes that we have by Stila. And I'm going to get this darker shade, dip into it. And then I'm just gonna follow where my cheekbones are and I'm just gonna blend it out. Now after finishing my contour, I'm going to start applying my but my blush and I'm gonna be using this brush. It's so cute and it, like really gets the pigment on. So I'm going to, what I do for blush is I like to use um, the eyeshadow that I have for my James Charles palette because again, you're saving a lot of money. But for today, I'm gonna use Skip. I have used this shade before and I know it looks super bright pink, but if you get some, tap it off and just kind of focus it. It really gives you like liveliness and <laughs> on your cheeks. <laughs> I'm just gonna dip into that, brush off that. And now I'm gonna focus it on my the apples of my cheeks. Cause, so I'm just gonna apply that there. Look at that. 
Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start adding my highlight. If you have a highlighter brush, I recommend you use it. For highlighter, I like to use my James Charles palette again, and I'm gonna dip into the shade base, and it's a shimmer shade. It's really cute. Works really well as a highlighter. It is the shade right here. Onto my, my highlighting brush. Dip it in, tap it, and just apply it onto like the highest point of your cheekbone. And then you can kind of look in the light and see where you... Oh, I like to apply a little bit of highlighter onto your nose. I don't want to make it like, boom, it's right there. You do that, but not with natural looks. I also applied some on my brow bone to really give it a little bit of highlight. I'm not going to be uh, doing my lipstick, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of chapstick onto my extremely dry lips. And for today's lip color, I'm going in with a nude color. It's called Enchanted. It's not... Naked? No. Your frame's changing. You see how natural it just looks? And now to finish off the entire makeup look, I'm going to be using some mascara. Feel free to use whatever mascara you want. Fortunately, for <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> it's coconut, um, some sugar, and honey, <coughs> and vanilla. Alright everybody, I think that is the completed look for today. Hopefully you enjoyed hearing a little bit about our lives and this natural, beautiful glam, glam. This more sophisticated prom look glam. So hopefully you will try to recreate these looks. Can't wait to see them. See you next time.